dear colleague, I would like to thank the Council Medical for giving me the opportunity to talk about both my experience with I say treatments in the glo in the in the glaucoma. As you know, glaucoma is a chronic disease and the IOP reduction is the only way to to delay progression of glaucoma. The treatment have two uh, has two uh, mechanisms reducing the production of aqueous femur or increasing the aqueous outflow. The treatment, daily treatment with drugs, poses the problem of uh, the, the compliance versus laser and, the sh and surgery. So, uh, so there is a various uh, therapy, and among them, cyclodestriction can, uh, can be effective, but due to uh, many side effects, it's, uh, it's reserved for uh, refractory glaucoma. It have uh, it's uh, limited in their use because they they are non-selective for the target tissue to be uh, treated, and uh, they have an unpredictable dose effect relationship. So the the mode action of uh, dyed laser is a thermal effect and photogoagulation, and the the tissue treated uh, the light the the, en the light energy, uh, the light energy changed in uh, thermal energy, and the tissue temperature rises uh, up to 65. Then it causes coagulative necrosis. The heat coagulates the pigmented tissue as well as adjacent tissue. So recently, another dyed laser delivery mode has been used to treat glaucoma efficiently with more selective targeting tissue and less tissue damage. In contrast to uh, thermo, uh, thermo uh, lay dyed laser and conventional laser, that's a, that's a uh, which are a continuous trend of high intensity of energy is deliver delivered. Cypcyclo delivers uh, ultra short and repetitive pulses of uh, order of microseconds and uh, corresponding to time on, followed by long cooling time corresponding to time off. That uh, allows energy to cooling down between pulses and uh, avoid any coagulative, uh, coagulative necrosis in tissue. So the main element to characterize the cyclo mode is the duration of the pulse. This, this duration is must, much shorter than the thermal relaxation, relaxation time. And the duty factor is in percentage represent the proportion of the time during which the laser is active compared to the time elapsed between two pulses. For example, the pulses last 0.2 microseconds for a cycle of two microseconds so the duty cycle is 10%. We, we don't know exactly what's the mode action of cyclo in the treatment of, in the reduction of IOP. In, in our study and in UBM images, we didn't, we didn't find any anatomical damage or lesion, or lesion visible, uh, visible lesion. But, uh, uh, in some studies, in histological studies, and uh, recently in next vivo studies, uh, subcyclo can have can have two mechanisms in reducing the production by causes selective destruction, selective inflammation, and selective destruction of pigmented cellular body. And uh, when the the treatment is post uh, limbus and uh, near past plana it causes an increase in the ovioscular outflow. And in the recent uh, study of John, Dr. Johnston, uh, it uh, shows that there is a contraction of cellular muscle causes a modification in the trabecular matchwork. And it causes an, uh, an increase in, uh, in, uh, out, in aqueous outflow. So uh, the main of, uh, aim of, the aim of our study is to evaluate the efficacy and tolerability of the, the cybersecular laser in the treatment of glaucoma. And we compared two duty cycle, 20, uh, a treatment with a duty cycle of 25% in the first group 
and a juicy cycle of 31.3 in the second group. 40 eyes uh, treated with subcyclo, 20 eyes uh, with 25% duty cycle in the first group, and the second group treated by 31.3%. All type of glaucoma are included, and the majority of them are in the uh, advanced type of uh, stage of glaucoma, and some are in the moderate stage. The indication of cypsaclo is advanced and moderate stage of glaucoma after failure of other therapeutics uh, when surgery presented to high risk in intolerance to medication, as well as in preparation of other surgery requiring an urgent IOP rejection. <coughs> so our procedure after asepsis uh, we use an, a subtenon uh, anesthesia with 2 cc of 2 per percent lidocaine. And to avoid any pain, we used a cocktail uh, consistent on a mix of hypnovel and propofol, sometimes they prevent. So the, uh, the laser settings were 2,000 power for the bots, uh, the bots uh, groups, and we choose... Um, Cypsaclo mode, treatment glaucoma, and the duty cycle, first group 25 and second group 31.3. The for a duration of 164 bot groups. So the probe was applied in a max measured three millimeters uh, posterior to, to the limbus, and it moves in a sliding arc from uh, 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the superior area, and uh, uh, 10, uh, 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock in, in the inferior area. We're avoiding the meridian of 3 and 9 o'clock to avoid any pain or mediriasis. Here I show you a video for the procedure. So here we put the marks at 3 millimeters in the superior and the inferior area. Then we applied perpendicularly to the sclera and we moved its uh, uh, subtenon anesthesia. And then we moved in the sliding arc. We avoiding the meridian of uh, three and the nine o'clock. Post-operatively, we prescribed a topical prednisolone of one uh, percent for two or or uh, for one or two weeks, depending on the chamber on the, uh, inflammation, and uh, the the treatment usual treatment glaucoma treatment w were uh, continued and uh, then adjusted and uh, and reduced when uh, when IOP lowered. So the success uh, uh, defined ad, as an IOP. Uh, reduction up to uh, 20 percent, and this is characteristic of our uh, of both groups. And in both groups, uh, we sh uh, we sh uh, the the study showed uh, an IOP reduction statistically significant, and IOP occurred the reduction of IOP occurred at day one and day seven, then followed by stabilization. The, the success rate is higher in the second group, treated with 31.3% than the, the first. The mean number of medication was reduced from 3.4 to 2.9. Regarding tolerance, there were no serious complications. The common co complication in the both group was the the inflammation, anterior, the chamber anterior inflammation, but it's resolved uh, in one week or two weeks. The inflammation, inflammation is higher in the second group than in the first, but in the first group we saw uh, more retracements. And retracements, when the IOP don't lower it, we suggest to retreat after three months. In uh, some studies, uh, prior studies performed with the microperse, laser, and GSIS probe, 
it showed the, the same success rates with the rates of inflammation and the mediasis. So in conclusion, Cybcyclo seems to be effective and uh, effective way to control IOP with the less uh, complication and it can't be repeated with the, without CV complication. So uh, at my uh, experience, my Cybcyclo experience, I use it in different stage of glaucoma with different IOP levels. It's uh, more efficient with uh, using duty cycle of 31.3%, but I tend to use it with uh, a reduced uh, duty cycle, 25, in some cases presented, uh, presented uh, uh, complication or inflammatory disease. Thank you very much for your uh, attention.